Fallout Ed 2 1.5 and a new release of S Fall. So, here's something I saw on the news here. Or in the news, uh, it, on the forums here. Um, March 7th, it says 2021. So it was like a couple months ago and I didn't realize it. But here I saw something. It says, uh, these are old news by now, but back on February 4th, Lex released Fallout Ed 2 version 1.5, which is what I'm playing, by the way. On my Friday streams, the full, the full change log can be found here at the top of the change log. It says that S-Fall has been updated version 4.29. One of the new features of S-Fall 4.29 that caught my eye was added a new mode to NPC combat control mod to let you order party members to attack specified targets instead of controlling them directly. If you have played the recent Atom RPG, it will probably be quite familiar. Demonstration of the feature is concluded in a spoiler tag below. And look at this. Quick guide on how to use the new order attack mode 3 in NPC combat control, and I want to take a look at that. It's probably an S Fall mods, but I can take a look. So, mode 3 NPC combat control mod. Combat control, mode, okay, so mode 0 is to disable it, mode 1 to control all critters in combat, mode 2 to control all party members, mode 1 to control all critters in combat. That's interesting. Mode 3 to specify the attack target yourself for your party members. Mode 3. Let's try this out. File, save. Let me open up Fallout Ed 2. I want to mess around with this a little bit, guys, just to show you off. This is something new in the Fallouts. If not something new in this mod that I just heard about. We're going to go ahead and uh, load up a game here. Load up the start here. That's fine. I got a couple party members. So let's take these party members. Just murder this random lady. Like, who cares? Um, and then, when in your combat turn, switch the command cursor. Click on the party member you want to order and hold it. There should be a new command icon appears. Use the new target cursor that doesn't show two hit chance to pick a target. The available target will change to a pulsing red outline when you hover the cursor on it. And the party members should have a floating message after clicking on the target. I got this. Huh. And then I'll have her attack dog meat. Oh, you can't have her attack dog meat. Uh, also, you can only specify non-friendly critters as attack targets in this mode. Really? Why would you want to attack friendlies? Oh, yeah, that's right. I did, did, did discover that. Or Ian. We can, oh, that's too bad. That's cool, though. Okay, let me see. Let's change dog meat's attack to that lady. And let's have everybody else do the same. Oh, no, let's just have Ian do the same thing. Then she'll have her stab her run around to do it. Dude, that's sweet. That's actually pretty cool. Like, what do you guys think of that? This is a really fancy new addition. Really nice? I think so? Yeah. Okay, let's go get the skulls. Start pissing everybody off. Okay, where's my turn? Okay, here's my turn. Okay, so we grab Candy, and we tell her we're going to have her attack this guy. We get Dogmeat, tell her to have him attack this guy as well, because this guy has a gun. Ian? Is this Ian? Okay, and Ian can attack, I don't know, whoever he wants. I'm, I'm just, and then I'm just going to run away. Um... Now, the sad thing is, it would appear as though I cannot change borders of the party members if they're behind walls. Okay, so that's a downside. That's a serious downside. <laughs> but otherwise... I don't want Benny. Uh, here's Ian. Have him kill that guy. Grab dog meat. Have him kill that guy, too. No, no, no. Dog meat. Go to that guy. Then I'll run away. One more. Oh, Ian's going down anyway. Oh, uh, what? Ian... Ian switched attackers on me. Please note that the disposition in the control panel of the party member must be set to custom. Oh. Otherwise, the target for the party member will be replaced by a new one according to the preset behavior pattern after the attack. Oh, okay. So they will attack for one turn. Ian, go after this guy. Dog me. Go after this guy. Can't get to Tandy, but oh well. Okay, dog meat, I need you to switch and go after this guy now. 
Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. This has a very XCOM feel to it. That's actually really nice. Anyway, I, I, I think that's pretty cool. I think it's a really nice design change. Definitely worth playing around with for that testing, but it is a really nice new feature to have and in, in, you want to include it in your new mods. All you have to do is enable it in, your, in the newer versions of Asphalt. Asphalt, what did he say? 4.29? 4.2.9, yeah. And newer. So, feel free, if you feel like checking that out, that's a cool little mod right there. It's a cool little, cool little nifty addition. When in your combat turn, switch the command cursor. Click on the party member you want to order and hold it. There should be a new command icon appears. Use the new target cursor that doesn't show two hit chance to pick a target. The available target will change to a pulsing red outline when you hover the cursor on it. And the party members should have a floating message after clicking on the target. Is I'll take care of it. And they did. The party member will start, except for Dogme. Dogme did not say anything. The party member will start to attack the specified target in his or her turn. Note that if a target is in gray outline, that means it has not yet entered combat. Okay. This usually happens when you start the combat first. After your first attack, the card target should be available. Oh, really? It won't attack? Huh. Uh, no need to attack every target before specifying it for party members. Just one in the, in the enemy group is enough. Interesting. To draw the team into combat. Also, you can only specify non-friendly critters as attack targets in this mode. Really? Why would you want to attack friendlies? Oh, yeah, that's right. I did, did, did discover that. Well, why why wouldn't you? I'd like, why wouldn't you try to build something in that's funky and, and fun like that? Anyway. Please note that, like, like, why hasn't anybody bothered to create a berserk, you know? Something like that. Where, where knocking out your party member is uh, a viable option. For dealing with a berserk party member, why don't why don't they do that? This modding scene has been around for 20 years, and nobody's bothered to do a berserk option yet. I don't know, whatever. Please note that the disposition in the control panel of the party member must be set to custom. Oh, otherwise the target for the party member will be replaced by a new one according to the preset behavior pattern after the attack. Oh, okay, so they will attack for one turn. Interesting. The mode is suitable for people who don't want to control critters on one by one manually. Might get a bit tiresome for a large leaping combat scenario yeah it would that's true it's why part of the reason i don't bother but still want to want, want them to attack targets that need to be dealt with asap this is pretty cool i like this 